Hello there. Today we're gonna take care about this guy here. That's Bosch. Move to in one 18 volts vacuum cleaner. Very portable, very versatile, very easy to use. A good tool in the house. It's looking like the battery doesn't keep the charge anymore. So I have to take that out and check the elements or something. And here is another problem. You see? That's the sound when I'm pressing this button here. That's the sound. When I'm pressing this button here, you see? So, listen. So it's looking like we are losing current into the switch or the wiring or anything else. Even the contacts here, maybe I have to check that too. And uh, by the way, let me start with this guy. Let's see what we can do about 10 amps, probably oxidized contacts or something. 4.3 amps. So every little piece of extra wire switch or everything else, it's taking uh, his toll, you know. We are losing power on the wiring. So by the way, let me show you. this one have also a brush here. which obviously needs cleaning. Oh, here we are. I got the model here. It's BB hash move 5N slash 01. It's charging with 25 volts at 200 milliamps. 100 watts plus 10 watts 10. Probably 10, it's the motor for the brush. I suppose we have a different uh, motor for the brush. And here, we have a little, uh -huh, nice, for cleaning, I didn't know that. This one, oh yeah, take this apart, okay, maybe I need to take this out before. Oh, there we go. Well, sometimes you have to, to push the things if you want results. Okay, so this is a nickel metal hydride battery. We have a fuse and this is the pack. GP battery something. Nothing spectacular here. Obviously this kind of batteries they don't need any any special treatment. They are just uh, getting charged and there we have the battery pack. Lots of batteries. Mm. That's gonna be a problem. I better should have the lithium technology. It's much versatile and much better. Oh no. These guys, they really want to have a short... You see, the point is that using this kind of nickel metal hydrado, even nickel cadmium, you know, it's very safe and um, they are not so demanding on the charger, you know, with charging with special currents and uh, having special kind of uh, charging uh, algorithm or something. So these guys are just, just working. But are kind of old now so all right let's start with this guy here 39 milliohms 64 i can't believe it it's almost double i don't want to measure anything through the brackets just touch the, the element itself 64 65 almost 98 even worse 98 124 are you kidding me 95 okay let's take the middle row 45 better yeah i'm disappointed 35 okay that's better are kind of better probably the heat no way 105 107 wow 71 
149. Okay, this is so kaput. One. One twelve. One hundred and twelve. One forty-nine. Okay, that guy. Okay. It's ninety-five. And the last one here. Thirty-eight. Okay. I may call this battery a total disaster. I have, let's say, one, two, uh, three, four, maybe four elements in the specification somehow. I'm not sure, but it should be lower than 30 milli ohms for a good uh, nickel metal hydride. Nothing to do for now, but to order some batteries maybe i find some uh, originals i don't know you see i believe one of the problem was the cooling you see uh, even there are holes in the carton uh, there but everything then it's tied with this plastic something and the air is not going in and out you know and that's that's a kind of problem heat is a problem for batteries I don't want to make any other uh, experiments because I'm pretty sure this battery it's not even half of the power so I just let it be for now nothing special inside here it's no electronic involved in charging or discharging or anything like that uh, simple circuit batteries a switch motor and that's it nothing spectacular i wish to replace this with lithium but there is a problem because i'm thinking about bms or anything like that you know to to have a proper charging anyway i search for a replacement lithium in this situation with a proper charger you can't hook lithium just like that you know you can't it's very dangerous it's not a joke like i said the old technology you know nickel cadmium or uh, metal uh, this kind of nickel metal hydride they are very tolerant they are very flexible so they really don't need special care but not uh, lithium. No, that's not a joke. You see, if you have a problem like that, the first step is to check the elements for internal resistance. They will give you the idea about the state of the charging or something. But I don't like the... There we go. So we simply can take this out of the way um, you see I have to put something inside here because I just yeah it's okay let's have the brush back in place well people that's it for today nothing spectacular like i said i was just checking the battery pack it's looking like it needs replacement only four elements are still alive i'm not sure about that too but it's nothing to do for now replacing the battery is the single solution maybe i'll go for lithium with a proper bms and charging uh, system anyway i have to reach 18 volts at least okay See you soon with some other stuff and I hope it's useful. Like always, please like, subscribe, be creative and of course, don't forget that. Have fun. Bye-bye.